Karen Algersma at the Esquimalt Fire Department at the Firefighters Calendar photo shoot. Oh yeah. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, a little hat shop with big heart. How to look chic on two wheels. And how you can help build wealth for African villages in need. All that and more on Go Island. Thank you so much for joining us on Go Island. We have such a hot show for you today because we are in the Esquimalt Fire Department. And no, the only thing that's burning right now is my heart because there is a hot, sexy fireman right behind me in a photo shoot. Oh, yeah, I know. I have such a tough job. Someone has to do it. Chris, I absolutely love that every year the fire department steps up to the plate to put out this calendar. Tell us what, what the vision is behind the fireman's calendar. Well, for 2014, we're putting out the firefighter calendar and all proceeds will be going to the pediatric unit at BGH. Wow. Um, we've made a 10-year commitment pledge to them uh, to raise $250,000 and we're currently in year three of that pledge. Now, I know that being a firefighter is not only an incredibly uh, important job, but an unbelievably rewarding job. In fact, when they did a survey on the five uh, most uh, joyful jobs, people who were the happiest and most content in the job, number two, being a firefighter. Number two, what, what is it about being a firefighter that is so rewarding? Well, it's about uh, being in the community, uh, knowing, knowing the people, uh, and just generally pretty simple as uh, helping people and saving property. And of course, in order to do your job and to do it exceptionally well, you have to be in good shape, which is why firefighters make great poster children for calendars. Oh yes, they do. Uh, what is it about uh, all of us female types who just love the firefighters calendar so much? I mean, it's so popular. What is it about firefighters that we're so enamored with? Well, we're easy people to get along with, I guess. and. Uh, we're helpful people and, and uh, we enjoy being out there. Now, do you love your job? Absolutely. You were telling me that you can't wait to get up and come to work every day. Every day. <laughs> when can people get a hold of this calendar? Um, well, they're, they're shooting it right now, so it should come out the end of August, mm -hmm. beginning of September. And uh, it will be sold at all the London Drugs and Thrifty Foods in, in Greater Victoria. And of course, it's not just the Esquimalt Fire Department, but fire departments all over, right? That's right. Uh, Saanich, Victoria, Oak Bay, and uh, Esquimalt have come together to put this, produce this calendar awesome. together. And uh, Works Photography has volunteered their time to uh, do the production. Because we are shooting, or I should say photo shooting, the the calendar, the firefighter's calendar, which is such a great cause. And you are the makeup artist here today. Yeah. Now, you were saying to me that as handsome as these firefighters are, they are, they are beautiful inside and out. Tell us about what the experience has been like working with these heroes. It has been solid, heartwarming, and amazing because the guys are, well, they're gorgeous, and of course it's exciting that we're gonna, they're gonna take their shirts off for charity and they're gonna show us how hard they've been working, and those guys have been working really hard. But I guess I was saying that they are, they're devoted, loyal, committed, strong, step up to the plate kind of guys. Yes. And it's, it's coming off of them when we work with them. You can, you can, you can just, they're considerate, they're kind and yeah yeah they're they leave their, they don't have, they don't come in with their ego and i'm no. all that they're really no. amazing hero that's why they're heroes they're heroes superheroes i would say absolutely we're trying to show that yeah that they're heroes has it been a fun experience it has been i bet oh well thank you so much and when you're done with them if i, I just saying you're welcome to do makeup for for the host of go island any day absolutely just saying just saying <laughs> i could use a little help oh, you look great. <laughs> Um, our next story is a really heartfelt family story. Um, you may have seen those crocheted hats that are really hot and in right now. Well, they're from Seattle originally, but the little hat shop um, is here in Victoria, and it's more than just a store. It really is uh, a legacy of a family. I'll let Jen Moranitz explain. 
Well, the most popular hat here at the Esquimalt Fire Department has to be this one, firefighter's hat. But we like it when the firefighters not only take off their hat, but their shirt, don't we, Alan? We were talking about the firefighters, as handsome as they are, they're also just amazing and really heroes in our community. Is it fun to work with these guys? Oh, they've all been, they've all been great. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, as much as I would like to jump into a burning building and rescue somebody's life, I don't think I would do it. I or No, actually I would if I had to. I know, but it takes a special kind yes. of person to be willing to do that each and every day, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And we've been, in, we've been in enough fire halls when the sirens go off, Within 30 seconds, five or six people just automatically leave, the trucks go, and you don't know if they're coming back. Mm. That, is, that just hit me when you said that. I was like, whoa, isn't that true? Isn't it's that true. true? Well, thank you so much for all the hard work you do. I know that you're a volunteer as well. Um, and uh, we're going to take a quick break, but stay with us, because more uh, firefighter models coming up. Oh, yes. Uh, and uh, we also have a story that will make sure that you look hot when you're out there biking. Welcome back to Go Island. I'm telling you, it is hot here at the Squam Fire Department today. No, not because there's any fires, but because we are at a photo shoot for the Squamalt Firefighters calendar, which uh, is just most, uh, most ladies' favorite thing that comes out every, every August. Um, we are with one of the models here, one of the firefighters today. Uh, what made you decide to volunteer to be, to be one of the, uh, what month are you, by the way? Well, I'm not sure what month I am right yet. They haven't decided, but um, it's been great. Uh, the cause is great, and it's been an exciting thing to go get in shape, you know, all the stuff that goes along with it for the photo shoot, all the guys heckling you, you know. <laughs> The whole thing. So I'm I'm glad to be glad and proud to be a part of it. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you look you, great. you looked great. It was fun watching you do all the all the different things on the fire yeah. track. It's gonna it's gonna be such a great calendar. Um, now speaking of looking great, it's hard sometimes to look hot and sexy when you're on a bike. In fact, I find some of those cycling clothes are the opposite. But there's a new chic bike movement out there, I'll let our very own cyclist and reporter, reporter who's almost not going to be a reporter with us soon, Nikki Winishan, explain. I'm so excited about the chic bike wear that I don't really cycle very much, but I want to go buy the clothes. Thank you for bringing us that story, Nikki. We are here at the Esquimalt Fire Department, and they are right in the middle of a photo shoot for the firefighter's calendar, and we are talking to the very lucky photographer of the photo shoot because you've been doing the photography for the other fire departments as well, right? Yes. So you were, you were yesterday at the Victoria Fire yeah, yeah. Department. How yeah. was it, my friend? Well, it's, uh, I mean, you just have to look at the bodies that I'm photographing. See, it's, um, it's pretty, pretty good amazing. Gig. It's amazing. These guys are not just, you know, big hunks of burning love, but they're heroes. Um, do you see that through the lens when you're shooting them and you're going through that it's not all ego and they're not full of themselves, but they're good guys? Yeah, there's no ego. There hasn't been any ego, actually. Really? No, none. None at all. And as we know in this business, that's nice. It's kind of a gift when you have a handsome guy that you're doing a photo shoot with that doesn't have an ego, isn't it? Absolutely. It makes it easier for everybody involved. Yeah. Right? yeah. He's, he's more concerned with the bigger picture than... than yeah. himself, yeah. which is really, really great. Oh, good gig, girl, good gig. A lot of women are jealous of you right now. We have to take a quick break, but please stay with us because we're going to show you another model who's just about to start his photo shoot. Uh, we also have our very own Poet Laureate who will be doing um, a really cool poem and our very own Dan Kahn produced it. It's a very inspiring segment. And of course, we have Kim Rock telling us about all the concerts that are coming up. So stay with us. Looks like I have such a hard job. I really do. I, I, I'm doing this for you, the viewer, though. We are here at the Squimalt Fire Department with firefighter slash um, calendar guy right here and hero. Is it nerve-wracking getting ready for the photo shoot? Uh, not, not entirely. No? It's kind of, it's kind of fun. It's kind of relaxing. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. 
Well, we really appreciate all the hard work that you guys do each and every day. And um, looking forward to the calendar coming out yeah. at, the, at the end of the summer. Yeah. It's going to be the perfect way to celebrate the new year as far as I'm concerned. Um, and thank you so much for watching. If you have any feedback, ideas, thoughts, you have any questions about how you can get a calendar, email us. Follow us on Twitter. Send us something on Facebook. If you see us around town, say hello. And you can also say, I'm jealous that this is your job. And, you know, I'll just have to say, I'm doing it for you, my friends. Thanks for watching.